everyone welcome back to another video today's video is going to be a little different from any video that i've ever done and this video is actually going to be me emptying out and disinfecting my suitcase i'm going to put myself out there by saying that i have never disinfected my suitcase i've cleaned it out like i've sprayed it down with like lysol and like alcohol and stuff but i've never actually gone in there and like wiped it down and like washed things and stuff like that so Today we're going to be doing that and I'm going to be showing you guys how I clean it out and I've been watching tons of videos on YouTube and TikTok on how to clean your suitcase. So I went down this rabbit hole and it just made me realize that this is something that I needed to do like now. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Ali and I'm an Orlando based flight attendant and I vlog about the flight attendant life. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure to click the subscribe button and also the notification bell so you never miss a video and let's get into this video so the suitcase that i use for work is a soft cover we have to use a black soft cover for work for leisure i use a different one i love away suitcases in my opinion they're great they're durable they're sturdy i've had mine for years but for work we have to use soft covers and the brand that i use is travel pro a lot of people use travel pro this is just pretty much a brand that designed crew suitcases and this is what mine looks like it looks pretty organized from the top i'll show you right now a close-up so to clean out my suitcase i'm actually going to be using a small handheld vacuum and this is actually by the brand breezy so thank you so much to breezy for partnering up with me for this video this is a small handheld vacuum cleaner it's a it's three in one so it's also a hand pump as well as a duster and a vacuum cleaner it runs for 25 minutes which is great and which is a pretty long time because i feel like small uh devices like this don't usually have that much battery life. It's very lightweight. As you can see, look, I'm just like throwing it around like nothing. It's very lightweight, very easy to use. It's got a one touch empty uh, feature. So all you gotta do is just press the button and it empties out all the dust. And since it's so lightweight, I feel like it would be easy to travel with if you wanna keep something like this in your suitcase. A lot of people really like the practi how practical it is to use. It's got different attachments. It comes in this little bag right here. So like I said, it is a three in one. So it has a hand pump for you to be able to use. It's got the attachment to vacuum, which is the one that we're going to be using today. And it's got a little brush right here. So it's actually pretty easy to use. Like I said, it can also be used to dust off your laptop, any electronics. So you just flip it over and put it right here. You turn it on and there you go. So see, it's pretty powerful. This little thing is pretty powerful and I actually like to keep it in the car. I have had this thing for maybe, I wanna say two months. I've had it for about two, 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 two and a half months and I've kept it in my car and this is what I use to clean up any dust, any crumbs that get all over the car. So I'm really excited to be able to be using this for my suitcase. I will leave a link in the description box below for you guys to be able to check out Breezy. They are amazing. They wanna focus on developing more house cleaning appliances, and then also helping people create a healthy and clean environment. So once again, thank you so much to Breezy for sponsoring this video. And again, make sure to check out the description box below for you guys to be able to check out Breezy. All right, so we're going to open up my suitcase and this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna show you guys what is in every single thing. I'm probably not gonna go through the bags just because there's a lot of stuff in there, but I'll tell you guys what is in there. And then anything that you guys are interested in, I'll also link below. I also got a new toiletry bag that I'm really excited to use. I got it on Amazon and I'm going to be emptying out my toiletry bag and kind of just wiping everything down with a disinfectant cloth and um, yeah just pretty much empty everything out. All right so hopefully you guys can see but this right here is my makeup bag and in here I obviously just keep my makeup but I really love this makeup bag. It fits so much as you can see but I am trying to consolidate everything into one bag. So I did buy one off Amazon that can hold toiletry bag, everything that's in my toiletry bag, and then everything that is in my makeup bag. So that is my makeup bag. This right here is where I keep undergarments. I do use packing cubes just to make it a little bit easier to keep everything organized. So it does look pretty organized. It doesn't look like it, it, it needs a lot of work. But in my opinion, packing cubes have helped out a lot with that. So this right here is my toiletry bag. And I love this toiletry bag. I've actually had it for years, so many years. This is what it looks like. I have my skincare stuff, some hair stuff in there as well. And I like that it has this little hook right here. And it has a little pocket up here for you to be able to hold anything like 
uh, hair clips, stuff like that. This right here is my shoe bag. This is where I keep my shoes. I think it's very important to always keep your shoes separate in a bag. So you see this is where I have my shoes in here so that they're not touching everything else. Next is my curling iron. This is the curling iron that I just started using since I cut my hair. I feel like it's been perfect for short hair and it leave, this is what I use to achieve the waves that you guys are always asking me about. And I always, 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 always carry it here in this hot tools case. It's also to protect it like in case I ever want to do my hair on the floor when I'm in a hotel room. I don't want to put this right on the carpet so I put it on top of this right here. I also have made sure to always keep an extra phone charger in here. I got this adapter at Ikea so I have one at home and I have one here and my suitcase at all times. I have left my phone charger at home so many times and I've had to borrow some someone else's or I've had to buy uh, an extra cord. So I just made sure to buy one of each. So one for home and one for the ho for my trips. And I always keep it in my suitcase at all times. And then I found this glasses and contact case, case <laughs> for myself because I, I am a contact lens wearer. So I like the fact that it has this whole compartment just for contact lenses and then another one for your glasses. So this is a really nice way to make sure that I always have both on me. I have this brush right here. I also got this on Amazon. It has a case which I think is really nice because it protects the bristles. And then here we have the big packing cube that holds all my outfits. So this is what I have from my last four day trip. So I have uh, pajamas, extra uniform. I've got a chambray and a jumper. So I'm just going to take this out and then wash it all. I'm also going to be throwing in these packing cubes into the washer just because like I said, these things go everywhere and they go to ho from hotel to hotel. So I wanna make sure that I wash them and disinfect them. I'll show you guys how I disinfect everything as well. Then I have my hot logic, which I always carry with me so that I can warm up my food when I'm in hotels. And in here I have a little bag with some workout stuff. So in here I keep some workout headbands. So I keep like three in there just in case. I don't know why I have to keep three. And then I keep some uh, resistance bands in there so that I can get a workout in, whether in my hotel room or in the gym. So sometimes like if I, if I know I'm gonna go somewhere that has a pool or a beach, I will add some beach stuff in here like sunscreen and tanning oil and stuff like that. So this, actually belongs in there. This is just some sunscreen, facial sunscreen that I like to use. This is by Supergoop. I love it. So I always just keep it in there. I have my Hot Toddy Heat Protectant Mist. This is what I use before I go in and curl my hair. I also have my hairspray, which is also by Dry Bar. This is the money maker. I love Dry Bar products. They're some of my favorites. So I just keep them in the bottom of my suitcase to save some room. And then I have uh, some dry shampoo because it's very much a necessity. Keep some Nair in there just, just in case. <laughs> and then I have a little makeup eraser. This actually needs to be washed. This is trash. This is a little spatula for skincare. And then this is a little sample of um, the Glam Glow Bright Mud Exfoliating Treatment. I like to use samples that I can get from Sephora whenever I travel. I feel like it's a really good way to use skincare and then also test out products. So that's why I also have a sample of the Drunk Elephant Baby Facial Mask and then some uh, facial oil and then a sample of the Lush Mask of Magna Minty. I actually really like this mask. And then apparently I have a bunch of little um, hair ties in here. So, I'm, and then I don't know what this is doing here. I think this is from the move. It's a cabinet doorknob. I don't understand why this is here. <laughs> but then we have um, these things that are obviously trash. I have um, a hair clip in there that's also broken. This is just really nice to have so that you can spray down your uniform after a very long day. I hang it up in the closet and then I just go and I spray it and it just freshens it up. And I have a sample of something that I got in, I think this was in Puerto Rico, but somebody gave me a sample of this. And the last thing that's in there is this Arm & Hammer deodorizer, which I think is important to have in your suitcase. 
You can also, I know some people like to add drying sheets, but I just prefer to use this instead. And in this pocket right here, I just have some extra face masks for work. Now in this pocket right here, this pocket, I have a love and hate relationship with this pocket because it makes, I feel like it can make my suitcase very heavy, especially because I normally have my laptop in this pocket right here. And it just adds a lot of weight. So I try to keep it very minimal. I have a hat. I don't always travel with the hat, but I had one here for whatever reason from a few trips ago. This right here is a wet bag where I like to keep any undergarments like that I've used. So I just have that in there. Always, always, always travel with an extra pair of tights because it is part of our uniform. We do have to wear these at work. And then I added this just in, because I got some new shoes and I wanted to make sure that if they were bugging me, I had this. They don't bug me, they're very comfortable, but I still keep them in there just in case because you never know. And then a random hair clip. <laughs> so now using my Brigitte vacuum, I'm gonna go ahead and just vacuum up all those little crumbs that you guys can see there. For some suitcases, you can remove this whole liner right here. For this one, you can't. But if I could, I would actually take it out and wash it myself, like put it in the washer and then just let it air dry just to make sure that it's actually really clean. So I'm going to grab a disinfecting wipe and then just wipe everything down right now. and I'm going to put it in the washer because look how nasty that is. This is just from grabbing it. I'm gonna put that in the washer and I'm gonna wipe this down. you guys to my laundry room so if it's a little echoey that's why but I have everything in the washer right now it's in it's right in front of me I used a laundry detergent pod just one and then I used this Clorox laundry sanitizer um, and this kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria on laundry so I like to use this on towels too but I figured it would be a good idea to use on my packing cubes so I'm going to start this load of laundry and then just let everything air dry and that's it, I will be all done. I honestly should have done this outside now that I think about it and just sprayed like alcohol all over it. I know that some people like to have like a water bottle, like a little spray bottle with some alcohol and just like spray down their suitcase. And I might start doing stuff, stuff like that every so often so that I'm able to keep it more sanitized. And I'm sure there are plenty of other ways to disinfect a suitcase so if you have any ideas let me know in the comments down below and maybe some of us can learn some ideas so thank you guys so much for watching this video I know it's a little bit random so I'm just going to end this video here thank you guys so much for watching and for making it this far it was very much necessary to clean my suitcase so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if it's your first time here and I will see you guys in my next video
Bye, guys.